This simulation is about how different systems of our body function together. The simulation shows the body in motion, walking and running. We see a girl standing on a treadmill. We can change the speed of the treadmill and see the girl walking and then running. While she is running, we can follow changes in her body, such as sweating and her face turning red. We can also follow the internal invisible changes in her body. What happens to her heart rate, respiration rate, oxygen consumption, and the body's temperature? We can discover, for instance, that while we are running, our body's temperature increases, but only to a certain a level, then it remains constant. Today we shall use the Light and Shadow virtual library as part of our studies in geometric optics. Uh, this simulated environment allows us to examine shadows casted on horizontal and vertical screens by opaque objects that are illuminated by point light sources. We may add another light source. Having two light sources produces the phenomena of full and partial shadows. We may add up to three light sources and change their colors independently. Each combination of colored sources creates a different set of colored shadows. Let us leave a single source and modify the object. The simulation allows us to investigate the shadows using measurement tools. For example, we may measure the size of the shadow and examine how it changes when we move the object further away from the light source, or alternatively, as we modify the distance between the light source and the screen. The simulation allows us also to study the characteristics of falling shadows casted on the horizontal screen by a high above light source, such as the sun. The size and angle of the shadow varies as we move the light vertically and horizontally. We may use another tool to measure the angles to study various scientific hypotheses. Uh, we have here uh, one example in physics, energy, uh, actually the law of energy conservation uh, and friction. And we can see the skateboard rider uh, and we can look at the potential energy and the kinetic energy. We have three types of representation, which is very important for today's learner. Now we add the friction. As we add the friction, we see heat energy coming in, and we can look at the law of energy conservation in practice. Along the learning object, we do have information, explanations, and examples of the phenomena uh, the phenomenon itself. We also have drill and practice. The simulation describes what happens when we heat ice, which is solid water. When we activate the simulation, we can follow how water changes on two scale. On the micro scale, we can see how does ice, which is solid, change to liquid water and then to water vapor, which is a gas. What takes up a larger volume? On the micro scale, we can ask what happened to the water particles during heating and the phase changes. Do the particles themselves change or is it only their speed or the distance between them that changes? We can also draw useful information from the heating curve, which describes the changes in the temperature of the water during heating. We also find out that when phase changes occur, temperature remains constant.